All right, next is First City Council Successor Agency Housing Authority public comments on unscheduled matters only. Do we have any requests to speak? We have two requests to speak. Okay, let's call the first person. First person is Katie Watkins. Katie Watkins, welcome. Come on up. Thank you, Mayor, and thank you, City Council, for letting me speak. I want to express a concern that I have that I share with a lot of parents in our city. Uh, my name is Katie Watkins. I'm the parent of um, three children at Fulton Middle School and two children at Fountain Valley High School. I'm a 15-year Fountain Valley resident. I'm following up on an email I sent to you regarding the safety of our children as they cross the street to and from school, particularly between the Harper, Courageous, and Fulton blocks. Every morning and afternoon, there are well over 50 kids crossing at each of these crosswalks, which, which cross four-lane streets with a speed limit of 45 miles per hour. Almost daily, I hear stories of close calls where a child or a crossing guard is almost hit, and I often witness cars speeding through the crosswalk with no regard to the children attempting to cross. I have two requests. The first is a simple fix to adjust the crossing guard hours to align with school hours. A couple years ago, state law shifted to shifted the school hours by 30 minutes for middle and high school, but the crossing guards did not change. Now the crossing guards who are hired by the city through the police department leave during the middle of the middle school rush. The traffic sergeant, Sergeant Williams, has submitted a request to extend the hours to accommodate middle schoolers, but this requires city approval. Please urgently approve this request so that the crossing guard can stay the, for the entire before and after school commute period. This is an additional 15 minutes. Second, we need better visibility for pedestrians crossing at crosswalks. I have reviewed the state guidelines for traffic safety and we meet and exceed the qualifications that warrant rapid flashing hybrid beacons, which are the push button flashing lights that have been installed around Huntington Beach. These lights go around the crosswalk signs, extend to flashing buttons across the street and can even include overhead flashing lights. I have met with Ryan Damon in the Public Works Department and he came out to observe the crosswalk during the before school commute time. Sergeant Williams, Ryan Damon, and many, many parents are in agreement that the current crosswalk signage is woefully inadequate. Notably, after pulling a driver over for blowing through a crosswalk, Sergeant Williams asked if the driver had seen the crosswalk, the crossing guard, or the mom with a baby in a stroller that she just drove past. The driver had not. Unfortunately, this is nowhere near an isolated case. The current signage is not sufficient to alert drivers to pedestrians crossing the street. These crosswalks are along heavily trafficked commute routes where a tree-filled median, sun in the eyes, and high speed limits make seeing pedestrians difficult, even for the most careful drivers. I have taken to monitoring the crosswalks whenever I can. I often stand in the middle of the street, waving my arms, trying to get start cars to stop for kids. But they don't. Something has to change before something tragic happens. As a city council, please approve and prioritize any efforts to increase the safety of these crosswalks. This includes improving the additional budget requests for the crossing guards, as well as improving the installation of the push button Katie, flashing lights Katie, for these crosswalks. This may take some time and Katie. a little money, but the safety of our children is worth it. Thank you, Katie. Appreciate it. Thank you.